Hello everyone and welcome back to a brand new video here at Tailman. Really appreciate you watching this video. So we had the special event in Barcelona this past weekend. Uh, however, special events in Europe are basically regionals without the money. I know there's a lot of confusion, but just think of them as regionals, right? Uh, attendance wise, production wise. Um, Quality-wise, they're basically regionals. Uh, for some reason, they just cannot award money in some of those European countries. However, for all intents and purposes, this was a regional tournament, and Rapid Strike was a deck that won surprisingly, um, or unsurprisingly, uh, when a meta when the metagame is filled with Gardevoir, Lost Box, and all these little HP Pokemon, then Intellion V Max can take advantage of that with its double Garner ability, and then. Rapid Strike or Shifu B Max can also utilize G Max, um, G Max Blow, in order to KO those little Pokemon on the bench as well. And then you can also use Radiant Alexam to manipulate the damage and make sure you are getting the right KOs at the right time, eliminating that mana fee from the bench. And then Yoga Loop from MediChamp B can also help you get an extra turn here and there which of course is very powerful, making your opponent skip a turn. Now, I don't know if you watched the finals, it was a pretty big um, blowout. Honestly, the Gardevoir player felt like they never had a chance. And when you have a deck that has such a good matchup against Gardevoir and against Turbo Lost Box, you know you're in for a good time when those two decks are usually one of, if not the most popular decks in the room. Now, outside of that, the deck list is pretty standardized. Um, the triple research to really have dig into the deck. The interesting inclusions here are um, they were very uh, intent on countering Mew, so they were playing the copy of Spiritum to stop abilities, and of course Giacomo in order to um, eliminate special energies, therefore removing those fusion strike energies from Genesect, turning them off for the rest of the game through Spiritum, and then hopefully having enough time to tear apart Mew's board that way. Um, not sure if they played against a Mew VMAX deck or not. I feel like with Charizard so present in uh, the Barcelona special event and doing so well, Mew is probably at its weakest it's ever been. It's just really hard to deal with a Charizard. It's not impossible. No match is 100-0 in Pokemon, but it is quite difficult. And so this deck was able to climb all the way to the top and doing so in really cool fashion. So let's jump into some games where I will surely be making a ton of mistakes as I have not played enough with this deck anywhere near enough. Absolutely not. Let's jump right into it. If you want to support the channel, you can use code TAILMON to get 5% off at Potan Store for your online codes, 10% off for your sealed product at Flipside Gaming, and 10% off on your aluminum accessories at TC Evolutions. Or if you're looking to buy singles or sleeves, you can fill up your cart and close the tab, then click on the affiliate link in the description and check out. That way you can support the channel over at TCG Player, Card Market, and Dragon Shield. ¿Eres de México y necesitas cartas de Pokémon? Busca Hyper Bean Cards en Facebook e Instagram. Y si estás en Tijuana, búscalos en el local C27 en el Centro Comercial Lotai. Alright, so pretty good starting hand. Now, double out of the IP pass, that's the dream of course. Full disclaimer, I am probably and very likely going to miss a lot of opportunities to use Medicham Yoga Loop. I'm going to be messing up the damage from Radiant Dalgazam, etc, etc. But it's part of it. I always try to be as honest as possible. I've definitely played with this deck not enough in order to really, really maximize um, the knowledge uh, playing with it, right? So I am sure I will be missing a few opportunities here and there. However, I'll try to make the most of it, all right? So seems pretty ideal. Uh, the Octillery is pretty fantastic, the energy is pretty good. And so the Battle VIP pass, I'm thinking Alakazam and Medichem. I'm thinking that's the way to go. Maybe I shouldn't have attached... Uh, sorry, uh, Alakazam and Urshifu I meant. Maybe I shouldn't have attached that energy. Um, as knocking on Arceus next turn also seems really good. And I had the possibility to do GMAX Rapid Flow to KO the active Arceus and something on the bench. So already, yeah, already making 
a few mistakes here and there. Um, but yeah. Double battle VIP pass, really difficult to lose. <clears throat> really difficult to lose games when you go double battle VIP pass. All right. This is actually not Charizard, it's um, Sprigatito, the Meows Karata EX. So it's going to be an exchange of damage counters. They will probably be running their own Alakazam as well. They are running the good 70 HP Sprigatito, right? And they very correctly assume. Oh, well, never mind. I was going to say, they very correctly assume that I'm going to knock out the active Arceus, but in fact, they decide to attach to the benched one. All right. So that top deck is actually not super great. Um. Because I could search for artillery and I mean search for the rapid and then attack on the bench, but I think KOing Arcus seems optimal here, right? Issue is, do I really want to Iono my opponent when they have basically nothing? I think just Ultra Walling for the evolution. Yeah, I really should not have attached. Ultra Walling for the evolution and then searching for another energy to attack with seems the ideal way to go. I think now I don't give my opponent an extra piece. I could also Luminion for research. If I had held the energy card, then I could search for a stadium and then I would conserve the energy um, on the Centillion, but it is what it is. Yeah, that's my bad. And as I mentioned, going to be making a bunch of mistakes for sure. But starting off with a two price turn, never a bad thing. Now, like I said, this Iono. I mean, it's just I don't know what my opponent has, right? So I think this is correct. I don't want to help them. And then, I mean, this won't stop the V-Star at all, but it will stop any sort of damage, which is also cool. I found an energy, which is also nice. Discarding the retrieval and the water, less than ideal. We could also see a concession right here if my opponent just doesn't have anything. Decides to super out back both cards, which I don't think makes a lot of sense. You're not getting a lot of mileage out of that, but here we are. And there's a V-Star. So if I had played Iono, I would have taken away the V-Star. The V-Star does give them basically whatever they want. So we'll see. We shall see. Bird Candy, Pidgeot, makes sense. And then with a the Pidgeot, you search for a research. So is there any universe where, I don't know, like searching for Intellion using double gunner and then playing Iono, hoping to find another Intellion and another water to KO the Pidgey? That feels like too big of a stretch, I think. And we actually see an Iono. So my energy goes away, my Iono goes away. And in their place, I get a Melanie. Never a bad thing, as I do have one water in the discard pile. Also an Ultra Ball. And they get the raw rare candy Meowskarada. So now hitting the bench and getting those smaller prizes definitely has less merit. <clears throat> to see 30 damage on my poor Octillery. But I mean, at this rate, it's going to take them four turns, right? So it's not bad at all. So you double turbo and a pass. Oh no, a nest ball. Okay. One card hand, which is of course fine. I'm not playing path. And they have a Pidgeot EX already. So they can search for whatever they need when they need it. Not bad at all. <clears throat> There's the Alakazam. Like 
Interesting. Choosing to retreat. Moving some damage to the active. So now scratching nails does the bonus 120. And then we see the pass. All right. So I again Ultra Ball for an Intellion. Melanie to the active. That doesn't seem super great though. I mean, I think I should just draw three cards. Though I kind of like grabbing an Intellion VMAX. I'm probably just going to attack with Intellion VMAX regardless. <clears throat> and that seems okay too. So I want to evolve and then I want to leave the Ram Strike Urshifu ready to attack. Okay. All right. So. If I go for a water attach and retreat, then I'm not attacking. It's going to cost me another energy to attack, but I did free up one from the price cards, which is probably fine. So, yeah, I mean, I can't not do anything, right? And I have two, which is fine since it'll be <clears throat> recycled. It's surprising that Rabbit Strike Urshu has a, only a two retreat cost, in fact. And so the question is, do I um, double Gunner? I think the answer is definitely yes. All right, so let's go ahead and double Gunner. Damage on the Manaphy and damage on the LXM. Now 280. I mean, this sets up the two-hit KO perfectly. So I want to move two damage counters. Well, as long as I find a water, right? Actually, no, I don't even need the water. Wait, what? Where is the damage? Oh, it's just not visible for some reason. <laughs> it is there. Wait. Am I missing something? No, right? It has 160 damage on it. It's just not on there for some reason. Okay. Do you see this like flowery effect? Does that happen with every card? No. What is this flowery effect? What is going on? <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> I have no idea. And it comes from like this. I have no clue. <laughs> Anyways. So they're going to do some damage to the Intellion, which is fine, which, which I can also heal off with Cheryl, the Artisan. Potentially helps me in establishing a second Octillery. Um, I will be losing the energy from the Urshifu at this point and with how far ahead I am, I don't think it will matter too much. Okay. And there we go. So I think I have all of this under control. Pretty much. Forest Seal Stone, fantastic top deck overall so let's go ahead and establish the second intellion vmax and then so this has 150 hp correct so i just need to move one damage counter from the mana fee i can leave the others the other damage counter on there so Am I really forest seal stoning for a water energy? All right, definitely gonna Cheryl because I feel like I'm prone to <laughs> like misclicking. You have 140 left, yes. And then let's do this. So if I forest seal stone for a retrieval, which I think I only play one, so that's actually not possible. Oh, right, now I have two. All right, I, I generally thought I only played one. 
All right, so I'll get back two waters, the one I discarded from the Cheryl, and then I get to double gunner. Really pressuring my opponent into evolving. However, um, I want to put the damage on the Alakazam. I think the Alakazam is the more likely Pokemon that I KO next turn. Like, I could just move the damage to the Menafee and then KO the Zalaxam somehow. But anyways, we should be good here. I feel like we should be good. Everybody's still at six prizes, no damage on board, not even an attacker for them that's powered up. They need Rare Candy, Meowskarada, and a double turbo to even attack me. They have no damage on the board either, so you need a Grass to transfer, otherwise they're only doing 80 damage. So things are looking pretty fine, honestly. And yeah, with double battle VIP pass, <laughs> how can things not be fine? <clears throat> okay, failing the artisan. So the Ultra Ball gets me Lumidian. So if I Ultra Ball Lumidian for Melanie attached to the Urshi, Octillery search for a stadium to free retreat, and then with Alexam I move damage off the Alexam into the Manaphy, knock that out, and then I G Max Rapid Flow, knock out the Alexam. That's the game. Right? That's how I can win. Um, could also get myself an extra turn through Medicham. I don't think that ever matters. Uh, boss. Uh, boss does put a dent in my plans, I guess. Mm, yeah, boss does put a dent in my plans. Because I do not have a way to retreat this Radiant Alakazam. At least not immediately in hand, right? So then that means I would have to Ultra Ball for... Lumidian, grab Irida, grab Escape Rope. And then I'm probably not winning this game, but it is what it is. It's fine. I mean, not winning this turn, I mean. Um, unless I make a mistake, of course. All right, so you two can definitely go away. All right, so then with Iridam, I mean with Luminion, we'll grab Iridam. And then we will grab the escape rope. And this Pokemon to thin. All right, so now Obviously, best case scenario, my opponent promotes an Arceus, and then we just win that way. I think they're going to promote the Pidget. That would seem pretty obvious. Yep. I think I still promote the Urshi, because then I just need one energy and I win the game, right? I think that makes sense. So I want to do this, and then... Let's go ahead and painful spoons. Knock out the mana theme. Maybe I should have waited actually a turn. Because there is a universe where they can recycle the mana fee, I guess. Uh let's go rapid strike search, sure. Let's play down a tower of water just because I can. And then I generally forgot this guy had um, fighting resistance, but that's okay. Sure. And then 120. So I should have just attacked with Intillion, conserve, well, no. Conserving energy, sure, but I also wanted to just have the GMAX Rapid Flow KO on this, if possible, next turn. Right, there's a pitch at EX. Let's 
cold rest, so no healing. I mean, my hand's not getting attacked. It's not like I had a good hand anyways. Can they recycle the mana fee? If they don't, then all I need to do is Octillery search for the other energy, KO the thing, right? Scratching nails for a measly 80. All right, and there's the Clara, which I could also use to just get back the water, but this is good enough. I hope. Unless I'm missing something, this should be good enough. 120, 120, and that's a game. Yep, this Mascarada did have the damage on it. That was so weird. Like, such a weird, um, I don't know, a weird visual bug. On to the next match. All right, this time around, we are going second with a pretty decent start, I would say. We also have the Tower of Waters to potential retreat. Losing the two waters, not super ideal, but we do have energy retrievals to <clears throat> get them back as well as the Clara, so should be fine. We are going to draw an Ultra Ball, also a very useful card. I could actually choose to use Ultra Ball into Luminion, into Irida, into Battle VIP Pass. I actually kind of like that. Now, we are up against Chin Pao, and Chin Pao is definitely one of the toughest matchups for us. Uh, I do believe my opponent did Pokestop before Shiver Chill, which definitely is a mistake, as you want to thin your deck out of energy, such as the one that they discarded, to increase your chances of hitting those item cards. So, small misstep there. Um, this matchup is definitely very, very, very difficult. So, all right, I'm kind of liking potentially threatening the two Fritchie backs that my opponent will presumably play down next turn, right? So we do have a little minion, we do have Iridas, of course, so I think that's a plan. So I already have Remoraid. And then I'm going to go ahead and Luminion for Irida, grabbing Octillery and Battle VIP Pass. That way I have the Octillery ready to go. And off of the Battle VIP Pass, I will also grab Urshifu and probably second Intellion. Because the Alagazam is prized. Alright, so even if I wanted to, I can't. And then I am going to go ahead and grab the energy on the Urshi, and I'm also going to play down the Tower of Water, so my opponent doesn't have the resource of Pogistop next turn. Now, the question is, do I retreat? I feel like I should, mostly because that way I don't have to rely... Uh, yeah, my opponent can't KO me. I was thinking, well, what if my Urshifu goes down, but with no Frigibax, there's no humanly possible way for my Urshifu to go down. So it's very clear what I'm intending to do next turn. My opponent really needs to bench Manaphy along with free Jivax in order to protect that. Um, there's no humanly possible way that I will knock out free Jivax. And then to see Greninja, I cannot attack the Bidoof. I feel like that's something that a lot of players would try. I would possibly forget as well. There's one free Jivax, immediately gets benched, no questions asked. I have the perfect follow-up to this as well. There's the Irida finally. So the best course of action here is Frigibax plus Nest Ball into Manaphy, right? Or Manaphy plus Nest Ball into Frigibax. I guess with the Manaphy, you don't even need the free, the second Frigibax technically. Um, because boss double boss rapid strike energy is very unlikely, but to be extra safe, I think I would. Because you don't need a second Chen Pao, because you know this deck's damage output, maximum damage output. All right, so it is Frigivax. There's a Pokey Stop, so I'm glad I retreated. There's a second Frigivax, and the Heavy Bolt presumably will find N not Manaphy. That was a Bidoof. Hmm. 
that was a beat oof which hello <laughs> well there's a nest ball also found an escape rope which would be annoying but not the end of the world it could deter my plans from attacking next turn though <laughs> all right well either the mana fee is benched i mean is prized and they misclicked or they don't play the mana fee either way that is those two fridgy bags are as good as dead now, I kind of like using Corina's Focus now instead of Research, just so I have Corina's Focus this turn and Guaranteed Research the next, right? Um, I'm glad I retreated for sure. Now, I will go ahead and grab the Rapid Strike Energy, which is pretty good here. And I could Pokestop. Don't really want to. Could search for a Water as well. Don't think I need to. I'm just going to G-Max Rapid Flow and take the two KOs on those poor, poor fridge backs that got no sympathy. Uh, so yeah, like, otherwise, like, bench a third fridge backs, right? Like, <laughs> you have to do something. It was either bench Manaphy or bench triple fridge backs. You cannot skip on one or the other. Just no way. All right. So there's a nest ball. Another fridge vax, which is now in a lot of danger for sure. So there's <laughs> there's a mana fee, no way. Um okay, so I guess my opponent just misplayed, right? Like it was just a blatant a hundred percent wrong misplay. So now my opponent's potential problem is I can still knock out the Frigibacks. I need double gunner to do so. But actually, I don't need double gunner. I, in fact, do not need double gunner because of Medicham. I do need to draw one of the energy, the Rapid Strike energy or the Stadium. Or until and VMAX plus energy, so all good. Yeah, generally all good. And that pretty much that pretty much seals the deal. Oh, actually, my I mean this is really good. But my since my LXM is prized, I cannot pull that one off. So it's just gonna be through Medicham and that's completely fine. So we're gonna do that. We're gonna go ahead and grab the water already and then go double gunner moving the damage to the fridge backs and to the mana fee and now i can search for any two cards that i want or any card that i want but i already got both of them sick so let's go ahead and do this oh wait what am i thinking ah. i mean i still got it but you can't i need an alakazam either way right Okay, see, these are the mistakes that I was that I was talking about. I still managed to pull it off, which is pretty lucky, honestly, at this point. Not a lie. I also lost both of my Melanies, so I don't have a G-Max Rapid Flow um, follow-up to this, but this is all right, okay? So I'm actually going to start Alchemy for a Water Energy. I mean, this will buy me at least... And I do mean at least one turn, if not possibly more. We're going to go ahead and double gunner yet again. So the play I was thinking was I would move the damage from the mana fee to the fridge bags, and that would be fine. However, <laughs> you cannot do that, Pablo, if there is no um, no Radiant Delegazam, right? I do have the Radiant Delegazam now, but <laughs> whoopsies. I almost did a very, very big oopsies. All right. So that's one more prize card, which is great. And then I get the extra turn, which is also great. Now, the bad thing here is... Oh, okay, my opponent just concedes. 
So I didn't have like a fantastic follow up to this, but there was no fridge backs, right? So I was gonna get like at least two turns of damage. I was gonna two hit KO that Chien Pao perfectly with my um, with my Intel and Vmax. I drew a water energy, and then all I needed to do was just attack the bench. I could Iono to take away my opponent's huge hand. Um, I think I was going to research because I still have Clara to recover the Alexam if I need to. Have a chance at finding retrieval, get another water, target down the mana fee. And then took a KO on the Chen Pao, and that wins me the game. So pretty solid, you know, pretty solid win right there. Uh, I almost, almost messed up, but I did not, thanks to the research bailing me out and the top deck for Seal Stone. I did have, I guess, a few outs to that to the combo. Um, if I had realized, no, I still wouldn't have searched first with um, Octillery. But yeah, I almost messed that up, but almost is the key word. <laughs> Pretty cool deck. Thank you so much for watching. Congratulations to the winner of the Barcelona special event. Pretty good list. And I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.